us now. We've been talking all morning long about how this care can to save someone's life during a heart attack can be administered inside the back of an ambulance. People might not realize that, but what kind of machines and, and technology do you have to help people? Well, um, you're, you're almost right. We can actually start the care at your bedside. Oh, really? Um, when we come into your house. Um, our cardiac monitor is probably our most useful tool. Uh, we can use it to, uh, as, a, as a diagnostic tool to determine whether or not you are having a cardiac event. Um, and then the, the medications that we carry on board the ambulance, uh, they're also the same medications that you would receive in the ER. So um, really the, the medications in the monitor as well as oxygen, we, we carry a great deal of uh, supplies, but we kind of take care of, you know, total patient care, not just mm -hmm. your, not just your heart. Um, we also, you know, manage your anxiety when you have historic, hysterical loved ones. Yes. Um, we, we don't, we make sure that you don't walk out to the car. Uh, we, you know, we're carrying band on your heart. Okay. Um, but uh, other than that. It, it's so really quick. just one of those things though. You have these things perhaps don't call the ambulance. Uh, we were talking earlier to Dr. Krause who says some people just aren't sure that they're having a heart attack or having some sort of a heart event. But it really comes down to having that one-on-one -on -one care with a paramedic on the scene to determine whether or not you are at risk. That's exactly right. And like I said, you know, the care that we start in the, in the field in your, at your house um, is the same care that you're going to see in the emergency room. Uh, the difference is that you're getting one-on-one -on -one care. There's one paramedic for one patient, and there's mm -hmm. actually uh, another EMT or paramedic that's assisting, whereas in the ER, you've got one doctor taking care of up to 10 patients, and your nurse may have two or three other patients. So uh, that, that's why we're able to get a lot of the treatment done faster before you get to the hospital. Well, just life-saving advice here from the back of an Adams County ambulance this morning. Coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to be talking more about that emergency care necessary during a heart attack. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. That comes up in about 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you then.